Hello. Hi. Welcome to our macaroni and cheese recipe making thing. <laughs> Chase is going to be my sous chef. It is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving if you guys are seeing. No, I'm not posting it today. Um, but yes, I'm making my macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving. Um, four cheeses. And you like it, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start off with smoked one, smoked Gouda. Chase is going to be my sous chef. He was supposed to be taking this out of the package, but he's going to go ahead and grate this one for me. We also have our mozzarella. We have our Kobe Jack. And last but not least, we got our triple cheese. So this is Vermont cheddar, sharp cheddar, and mild cheddar all in one. So this is cheesy. It's cheesy. Okay? And, you know, I'm going to make a roux. Um, I'm sorry, not a roux. A cheese sauce. Well, I guess it's the same thing, right? A cheese sauce. I don't use eggs. Um, but you will see all that happening right around now. Okay, so first we're going to get started grating this Gouda cheese. Now, I've never used smoked Gouda, to be honest. However, they were out of regular Gouda because everybody's probably doing the same thing I'm doing. Um, if I can get it out of the package, that'd be ideal. Great scenario. If it keeps the packaging. Okay. So we got our block of cheese here. I'm going to use the... Chase is doing it. So I'll use the biggest holes. Okay, onto a plate. And I'm using the whole thing. So we're going to grate until this is gone. I bought the other ones already shredded, so we didn't have any work to do there. Chase, are you doing your job? No. <coughs> just, okay. just quit on me. First step, you quit. You got to wash your hands. I did. Okay, good job. Just quit on the first step. So I already have a pot boiling. I don't know if you can see it. The cheese is in there. Right here for my macaroni. I bought a two pound box of elbow. Okay, Chase, you can take over. Elbow macaroni. Is this? Yeah. No, do it with the part that I already have. That could work oh, too, okay. but that's probably gonna take longer. And I've salted the water. And we are bubbling. We are bubbling it. <laughs> Meaning the water is boiling. So, okay, thank you. And keep grating away. Put some force in there. Use your wrestling muscles. Is it hurting your arm? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna let that go while I make my sauce. I don't know if I have a big enough pan. Take it uh, out. Uh, <laughs> oh no. What a dilemma. Let me do this. The keys don't want to be used. So no, I'm not coming out of here. There we go. How does that happen? <laughs> How does that happen? How to get stuck? Yeah. How to lift it out and shake. No, put it down. So you don't hurt yourself if you hold it up. All right, I need a bag of garbage. All right, keep going. Look at you, I'm almost done. You are a great sous chef. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fancy new pot mm. to make my cheese sauce. Oh, 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 oh. Look at it. So now, okay. Did I ask you to be a cameraman? No. Okay. <laughs> so I bought new carote. I don't know how to say it. They, it's C A R O T E pots. Oh, Chase is annoying. Here we go. From uh, Amazon. These pots come with lids that are for storage and also, obviously, the regular lid. Oh, there you go. Boring. For cooking. Stop hating. And they're nonstick cookware, white granite collection, and I got them in the red to match my kitchen. Um, this is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse these out because I haven't used it. And it has what I really like. Where is it? What I thought was fancy is the detachable handle. So it clicks on and clicks off. Let me wash it so you can show you. See? And also, another fancy feature. This kind of 
Here's one of them. It has a port spout. I don't know if you see that. So that's going to be handy for the cheese sauce. Okay. I'm going to click you on. Put you on the stove. I'm going to get some butter melting. Okay. Put you on the stove. Butter melting. You got it? You working it? Like, oh. Oh. Okay. There you go. Keep it going. Some butter in this piece. Got my Walmart butter. Walmart. I'm going to cut about three, four. Four tablespoons. Get that melting. Hi, Sean. Mm -hmm. Get that going. I have my heavy whipping cream. As you can see, they're all Walmart. <laughs> Everything is great value. All of the things, all of the items. You going? When you get to the bottom, give it to me. I'll do the rest. I don't want you to scratch your finger. You can like change shape. Yeah, this part is the longer part now. You need some help? Mm -mm. You got it? Okay. So my butter is melting. I'm gonna let Chase finish that up. Then we're gonna move over here. Okay, so I melted my butter. It's in here, doing what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna take half a cup of Flour. This is a quarter mushroom cup because I can find half. I'm going to stir that in. the butter into the flour so there's no like right left it's all like dough if that makes any sense actually let me show you oh, can you see it look at an angle properly <laughs> here we go so it's like a dough and then from here i'm gonna put the heavy heavy whipping cream okay now for the pour of the heavy whipping cream. Incorporate it. I'm gonna go in hand because I'm holding the camera. I'm trying to get the lumps to go away. a bit like some there we go I'm done. you got the gouda down bubble mm -hmm. all right want to roll my macaroni still at it let me stir you up a little bit over here macaroni here you be the camera man regular milk as well. I only bought one piece. Now some people use evaporated milk, but I think my heavy whipping cream makes it creamier. Yeah, I'm gonna add some regular milk to this. Just gonna eyeball it. Probably should have measured, but boom shakalaka, I did it. Then we're gonna work our seasonings into the piece. Once I smooth out all these lumps from the flour. Alright, so what do I need? 
I want uh, salt and pepper, obviously. Let's do some of you. Got one. Mm -hmm. Got two. All right, now it's time to get crazy. I believe I have some ground mustard. Oh, 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 sorry, baby. Yes, I do, I do, I do. There we go. Open them up. Ground mustard almost got me. Let me do well I'm fighting with the ground mustard. I need adobo. 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 A little bit of you. And back to the ground mustard. I need a knife. I need to stab him. Silence. I'm violent here. In the Smith household making macaroni. Okay. Top on so I don't, I don't think I want too much of this. Just a little bit. A little bit. It's not coming out. A little bit. Um, a little bit. Okay. And we're going to stir you up. Make sure you're nice and smooth. And then we're going to get crazy with the cheese. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, paprika. Paprika. Let me get you paprika. Where are you? No, oh, no. Paprika is hiding. There you are. Come on, paprika. Get on in there. Paprika's in. Okay. Now we're in good shape. So the keys is our time to drop. Let's start with the Gouda. Chase did a good job. I'm only gonna put half because I still wanna put some in the actual macaroni. So half goes into the cheese sauce. Mm-hmm. Half of you. The violence doesn't need this mac macaroni. It's kind of a Half of you. Mm -hmm. Half of you. I didn't even time my macaroni. I forgot. Hasn't been like 15 minutes, right? Nope, that says we're almost there. And one more cheese. Which one? One is the one? Yeah. Uh -oh, okay. You know, Walmart, the wrist is supposed to be where you can open it after you rip it. I'm just gonna stir this until it smooths out. Let me um, move around my macaroni. Oh, here comes Puppy and Kate Paige. Move around, we're cooking. Away from the food with the puppy. Okay, I got you. Hold on. Okay. So you want this consistency, like 
thick, but not too thick. I might add some more milk. So it can spread over the two pounds of pasta. Here's the milk. Oh. No, <laughs> I definitely didn't use peanut butter paste. <laughs> She saw the peanut butter on the counter and asked me if that's what I use. No. Maybe some different looking macaroni and cheese. Okay, so we're getting places. That's what you want to hear. So now I'm going to get a pot ready. Not pot. What am I talking about? A pan ready. And we're gonna incorporate. I'll be back. All right, so now my macaroni is done. I'm gonna drain a sucker. bottom of my casserole dish. So get the first layer. You need to learn some of the dirty dishes. <laughs> I'm gonna add the other half of the cheese. I like to do my macaroni in layers so everybody gets some. All gets incorporated. Let me do the sauce first. Excuse me, sir. Oh, this is when I handle the pour and the pour spout. You hear that? That's what you want to hear. Comes in handy. So we're gonna pour you in. with you yet. A little bit more. Okay. Save. Oh, I'm going to put this to my jaw. Alright, so I double season. I'm going to get my onion powder. That's Greek seasoning. That ain't it. Where's onion powder? Here. Onion powder. And more paprika and more salt and pepper. Just a little bit because we already put some. I just want to make sure everybody gets seasoning. We are doing unseasoned macaroni. And not a lot of salt because it's in the keys. Cheers. I need that. Put it back. The cameraman is not doing what he's supposed to do. All right, we're going to take half of the Gouda that's left. Half of the cheddar. I get everybody in. Oh, stuck. There. I'm gonna unstuck. Ah, oh, that was a tat. Okay, so obviously I have too much noodles, but we're gonna get what we can in there. That's a lot. You still have way more. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it was like 30 cents extra to get the two pounds versus the one pound. So, 
you know, we save over here. Watch out, bud. You're, you're actually in the food. No, I'm not. The camera's like in the food. No, it's not. Cameraman, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, the whole goal is to get every bag covered in cheese. This is the sound you need to hear. Do you hear the sound? Shh. ASMR. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna smooth you down. Oh, didn't do my seasoning on this layer. One more. One more again. You'll be soft. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit pepper. A little bit. A little bit. Let's do that again. That's my oven that preheated. And it's ready for me. Okay. So, I'm going to smooth this down and cover it with the last layer of cheese. And this is going to get brown on the top. Lost a piece of cheese. What? You were that? Yes. All right. Let's make sure that's covering everybody. And now I'm going to put you in the oven for about half an hour. Watch out, she's oven time. Excuse them more. And we'll see you in half an hour. Bye, macaroni. So, macaroni and cheese, done. Chase convinced me to make a, a second with the leftover noodles. I didn't, you see, I didn't brown the top of this one. This one got broiled. It got broiled a little too much, but that cheese is going to be banging. I ain't going to lie, a little burnt cheese. <laughs> but I'm going to do, this is going to be our taste test. Chase, you hear the taste test? Come. Blow on it before you burn yourself. Oh, too much. Why can you get it? Oh, oh come on. Mama's losing it. Good snack, the best I've ever eaten. You have a hole. Here. Blow. Blow a lot. No, 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 no. Okay, that was a lot. Is that in your opinion? Mm. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you agree? Alright, you want some for lunch? No. Okay, you're saving it? Not gonna eat it yet. <laughs>